Uh, this Excel uh, worksheet is a solver uh, that will solve any generalized motion problem. Now in this context as I've used it I'm, I'm using it to actually solve the motion of a roller coaster. So I've set up seven points that lie along the path of the roller coaster and uh, Excel has fit a line through those points. Uh, I've set the mass uh, I've set the acceleration due to gravity and I've set a damping coefficient which in this context is uh, friction, the roller coaster friction. Uh, let's move down a little further. Uh, here's the free body diagram uh, that shows what's happening to the uh, roller coaster at any, any particular point in time. We're interested in the tangential acceleration, uh, the tangential velocity uh, and the perpendicular acceleration uh, and there are all the forces that act uh, on the roller coaster at any point in time. Uh, the solution of the problem is solved uh, using a, a table of data uh, and I can show you where the table is. Uh, it's just over here to the um, uh, to the right of the screen and this solves for any particular time t. Uh, now that the, there's an obviously an awful lot of calculations there but uh, the uh, XLC add-in for Excel has done a good job here of showing you exactly how I've calculated each row of information and below we can see the solution so at any particular point in time t uh, I can determine uh, the position uh, the velocity and uh, acceleration so just to show you what happens there if I put 10 in that's the position of the roller coaster after 10 seconds uh, and let's put it back to zero. In fact this uh, problem lends itself well to the use of the uh, XLC animator so I'm going to, let me just pop that back again, I want to make that the active cell because I'm going to change that uh, and I'm going to change that from uh, 0 to 30 uh, in, in 200 steps and, I'm gonna, and it's going to play backwards and forwards as I press play. So here we can see uh, what's happening to our roller coaster. Um, it's uh, falling down, rising, and then, then actually just rolls, it stops and rolls back. Um, here is the uh, velocity at any particular time, so obviously it's fastest, it's at a maximum in the dip, and it's at a minimum at the top there, so it's all behaving itself quite well. Running further down, I can show you the tangential uh, accelerations, and in fact the uh, perpendicular acceleration or in fact the circular motion acceleration and what we can see here is that we're, we're pulling our maximum G load at the dip of the roller coaster and uh, the maximum acceleration is about uh, three and a half G something like that and uh, if you take a, a look at this uh, Wikipedia page here, there's a, a hyperlink to the page, uh, it, it shows that it, typically you get uh, accelerations on roller coasters that are between uh, 3 and 5 G. Now you get to 10 G you start to black out so um, that's the, they're, they're kind of uh, limits that we have on roller coasters. I'm going to just slide the thing back up again just to show you how easily it is to uh, create more um, more geometry. So let me just stop the animation and now let's go back to here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to raise this point up to what about 200 something like that now what you can see when I press enter is this, the shape will change uh, completely and in fact this dip now uh, is very very sharp uh, and let's just go back down to the bottom and see what happens uh, here we can see we've got immediately updated the path uh, tangential velocity and acceleration data uh, but let's let's animate that and see what, what what's going on there so again select the uh, cell and press play so what's happening now is it doesn't actually make it up to the other side of the ramp and it's actually rocking backwards and forwards uh, so this is why we get a reversal of uh, uh, velocity and in fact it, it's, it's going backwards and forwards through the motion so after 30 seconds it reaches this point here it stops calculating and just reverses back uh, but we can see similar things happening uh, to the uh, tangential acceleration uh, but this is a uh, maybe the most interesting one it's the perpendicular acceleration uh, and it's interesting because the peaks are successively dropping uh, and they're successively dropping because uh, we have that damping term uh, in there so 
Uh, and the other thing that's very interesting is that the G levels that we have now achieved with that very tight radius are now enormous and you're almost certainly going to black out on this roller coaster. In fact, you're probably going to be squished on the floor of this uh, particular roller coaster, so it's very unlikely to make it to the theme parks this year. Okay, thanks for listening.